We're in the Ukrainian border region of Sumy in the northeast of the country, which has been under heavy Russian attack since Ukraine's incursion into Russia on August 6th that was launched uh, from Sumy Oblast. And the city of Sumy itself, where we are right now, is located about 30 kilometers or 18 miles from the Russian border. Today alone, we've had several air defense missiles overhead about half an hour ago. Then again this morning as we were conducting interviews on the street. And these missiles were working to intercept the constant incoming Russian air targets. Take a look. Incoming missile, among other things, Russia has also been dropping cab aerial bombs, which cannot be intercepted. These are massive Soviet bombs, and it has resulted in civilian casualties. Over the weekend, Russia launched a Iskander ballistic missile at the city center. Officials here told me today that the intended target was a grocery store, so civilian infrastructure, but the missile ended up landing in a parking lot adjacent to that building. And again, civilians were injured. I believe we're showing a picture of me holding a piece of that Iskander missile following the attack. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky reported that last week Russia launched over 40 missiles and 750 guided bombs against Ukraine, highlighting the scale here of really just Russia's aerial assault at this point in the war. In terms of developments, less than two weeks into Ukraine's cross-border offensive in Russia, Ukrainian forces now control around 1,000 square kilometers of Russian territory and over 80 settlements. President Zelensky has stated for the first time that one of the primary objectives of Ukraine's incursion into Russia is to create a buffer zone to prevent further Russian attacks across the border on Ukrainian soil, like Sumy. And also, their aim is to weaken Russia's war capabilities. Additionally, captured Russian prisoners of war will be used in exchange for Ukrainian POWs. And in the last 24 hours, Ukraine destroyed another key bridge in Russia's Kursk region. We heard Ukraine's commander-in-chief, Oleksandr Sirsky, report that Ukrainian forces have strengthened their positions in Kursk Oblast. President Zelensky also mentioned that Ukraine's armed forces have stabilized the territory that's under their control and captured more more Russian prisoners in the process. Although Ukrainian officials have told us that intense fighting continues not only in Russia, but also along the front lines in eastern Ukraine. And I just want to note briefly that although you see Ukrainian civilians behind me going about everyday life, we are constantly under air raid sirens here. Somewhere like Sumi has gone under sirens now 10, 14 hours a day. You can't hear them at the moment because they stop after initially going off with that first warning. But again, Ukrainians have no choice. It's two and a half years into this war. And despite the risk, they are determined to persist, regardless of Vladimir Putin's war in Ukraine. For Newsmax, I'm Shelby Wilder, reporting from Sumi.